All right, so in that God. game against Buffalo, we've had a couple people terrible, call about man. this. <laughs> Philadelphia hit one of, I think, one of the best field goal kicks I've seen in forever. Uh, that that kick by Jake Elliott in the rain, considering the distance and the, the weather conditions and the field conditions, was an unbelievable kick. An unbelievable kick. I pray it does not come down to Jake Moody. Not that I don't think he could rise to the occasion, but if it's weather, you know, conditions and and we've got stuff going on, you can give me all the Michigan stuff you want in terms of weather. That's a beautiful turf field. You know what? I I'm I don't I, want this coming down to him. I kind of wanted to come down to Jake Moody. Now that you say that, why? I need to figure out whether or not we need to go for it on fourth and two in the playoffs. Interesting. Or kick a field goal. I need to know. These are big games. I wonder how many people agree with you on no, that. Not many. I don't not want many. It coming down to I, hate, I can't stand kickers, right? I can't stand them. But you know what? I need to find out whether or not I can count on him in January. Who possibly. Do you trust, who do you trust more in weather conditions currently? If it rains and it's cold on Sunday, Brock Purdy or Jake well, Moody? Well, Brock Purdy struggled in the rain in Cleveland. Is he going to wear a glove? Don't know. Here's Shen- here, uh, we got the Shanahan sound right here uh, on the rain. Let's see. Oh, here's Shanahan on prepper for the rain in Philly. A wet ball is makes it harder on everybody. I think Brock, um, I've had some guys who really struggle in the rain. I've been through some situations with Brock, not just the game, but practice. But I think he's as good as any quarterback I've had in rain. He's um, dealt with it a lot at Iowa State. Um, and I don't think there's much practicing in rain to doesn't get less slippery. So I'll just try to have a fishing one today and deal with Sunday. Is Shanahan on a treadmill? Because he always sounds like he's out of breath at the podium. <sighs> hey, Bonte, I, uh, you know, it was, when it's raining, yeah. Uh, yeah. he does. Yeah, he I, I always experience. say he sounds like he just ate $20 worth of Taco Bell or something, like when he talks. You know like, not like slander Taco you know Bell like that. Dog. No, I'm not slandering right, Taco Bell. Who here, do you think you are? You just opened it up. I'm a big Taco Bell fan. I say that as a big Taco Bell fan. You just opened it up. Hit me with the bells. Give me the Taco Bell so damn good. Fourth meal. Because I was, I was so distraught and disheveled over losing to the Kings yesterday. What happened? And they got on my damn nerves What'd and the do? whole clay thing. After work, I was here for a while. Uh huh. It's about eleven o'clock. I'm driving home. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm I'm starving. This is in the morning. It's in the morning. Would you go? It may be, may have been the earliest I've ever been to a Taco Bell of my life. Well, that's when you know. Like I was at Chick Fil A at ten twenty five. I smashed out of here, went straight. To, that's when you know, like. You're in for a long day. Have you never well, done the Taco Bell breakfast? No. Underrated. I, it, it hits. Very it's underrated. Yeah, well, I, I don't think I've breakfast. ever done Taco Bell oh, breakfast. Taco Bell I didn't go breakfast, breakfast yesterday. Especially went, if you get, you get that breakfast crunch wrap. Oh, it hits hard. What'd you Dude, go? I, I, I went you with the Gordita with? Crunch. Gordita Crunch. Strong. Yeah, that's a good one. A beef Dorito, or chicken? D- 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 uh, whatever. It it's always beef. Okay. That was always beef. Um, I went with that. Dorito Taco Supreme. Strong. Strong. Doritos Taco Supreme is good. <laughs> yeah, Nachos no, no, Bell Grande. I was straight fat boy yesterday, man. How was that nachos Belgrande? That's Michelle's go-to. Yeah, I, it's great. I love it. A little inflation on those nachos Belgrande, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. you, the key then, to that is you gotta ask for extra chips. So I'm driving. Right? I'm eating, and it's like, what are you eating? Oh man, I just got some snacks for the studio, right? She goes, What are you eating? Oh, I damn, got some she's snacks. On you like that, huh? I said, I'm eating Taco Bell. She goes, Why? We got food in the house. Oh. Like, I just wanted Taco Bell to make myself feel good. The Warriors blew a 24 point lead. I'm we so got Taco Bell. Dead. We got Taco Bell at home. I, I can't. That was My the, wife does have the Taco Bell hot sauce though at home. I don't know if you can, they sell it in retail. It is good. I, I it's the earliest I've ever been to a Taco Bell. There was nobody in line. Nobody. I was like, what am I doing here? Which one? I can't tell you which one. I can't tell my secrets. Wait, you buy the Taco Bell sauces? I don't buy the Taco no, Bell. No, no, no. You just no, take no, no, them no. when you go to the store. I, I usually don't use buy, Taco Bell sauce. You can buy the hot sauce in, in like a little little jar. It, they actually are fire. Oh, I you just like Google it. grab handfuls of packets when I'm at the restaurant and take those home. I used to do that, but I don't use the sauce anymore. Um, oh, I got to have a hand on the rain, though. Prepping for the rain. He's not worried about Purdy in the rain. Um, I'm a little concerned, but the whole, anybody, that's an interesting question about Jake Moody. Jake Elliott makes a 59-yarder in the elements. I would rather know now if I could trust Jake Moody in the playoffs. I mean, I, when I saw when I saw uh, the Eagle kicker make that kick, Jake Elliott, I said to myself, I don't know if we could do that right now. Because that's something in the back. 60-yarder, game on the line, to go to overtime with the rain and the conditions. And then, obviously, the Eagles kind of 
screwing themselves out of some time, some yardage. You know, with with the there were like three plays in a row. It just was well, odd. I, I don't know. I thought that was an impressive kick. Jake Moody, seventeen of twenty from on field goals this year. He has a long of fifty seven, which happened at SoFi Stadium. Uh, six to six from twenty to twenty nine. What he missed? Seven to seven. So he's perfect. He's thirteen to thirteen from field goals under forty yards. But he missed two in weather at Cleveland, correct? Yeah, so he's two for four, and then another one against Minnesota. And hasn't missed four. anything since. He's two for four uh, from forty to forty nine yards. Two for three. From 50 plus yards. So in his last five games, Jake Moody, he's seven of eight in his last five, and he's missed one kick in between 40 yards. That was a Minnesota game, and he's one for one on kicks from 50 plus yards. There you go. So seven of, seven of his last eight. And you know what? I want to find out now if I can trust Jake Moody in January. So yeah, hopefully the game does well for our heart rates in real time. We're not going to want it, but I would rather know now if I could trust Jake Moody in a playoff game. Because then, in the playoffs, it's different. If he's not making kicks in the regular season, well, now we get a fourth and three situation from, say, yes. the 37-yard line. That's a 54-yard kick. You know what? I'm going for it because I can't trust Jake Moody to make a well, kick. Well, I feel like it's going to come down to special teams again in a game like this. Uh, Darrell Luter made a great play on that kick return early in the Seattle game. First possession for Seattle after they scored seven points. And tackling that guy? kept it to a 7-3 game because they got a field goal. The Niners got a defensive stop. And then there was another play later on in the game. Sammy Womack made a nice stop uh, to to pin them down very close. And then Charlie Warner had the big turnover recovery on the punt that was muffed by, was it DJ Dallas? Mm -hmm. So that was a huge special teams game that nobody talked about. Yeah, nobody discussed that at all. And Mitch Wisnowski, for all the heat John Lynch got for drafting him in the third round, Mitch Wisnowski's an all-pro punter. Yeah, he's been good. How many times has his kicks landed inside the five-yard line this season? I mean, he's been excellent. Excellent. So you got, hopefully, you have two kickers here, a punter and a kicker, that could be the Niners punter and kicker for the next eight to ten years. Um, Shanahan on slowing down Jalen Hurts. Yeah, you want to try to keep him out of those situations first and foremost. I know it's possible to stop, but I think it's pretty proven that it's extremely hard. So you try to keep him out of those situations. And um, they do such a good job of balancing everything out with the dropbacks, the play actions, the RPOs, the quarterback run game, the regular run game. Uh, so it's, it's really impossible to stay ahead of them um, in terms of who has the chalk last. And they got a lot of answers in their run game and stuff, which can put him in some pretty good situations. So you got to be able to weather the storm when they get you. Um, let it be a first down and not a touchdown. Um, play very disciplined, very sound. And when you get your opportunity to make plays, you can't miss them. I shed a hand right did, there. Did Go you ahead. hear what Spadoni put in our ears? Yeah, Zach Ertz is on waivers. I'll take Zach Ertz in a heartbeat. He is from the area, Monta Vista High School. I mean, I Stanford. would love to have him as tight end, too. It'd be great to have another pass-catching tight end. That'd be awesome. That'd be real a awesome. veteran? Um, haven't watched much of Zach Ertz outside of the Eagles or the Cardinals Niners game this year. I'm not yeah. sure how much he has he left missed, to take. He missed but, some time. He had, he had yeah. like a quad or leg. He's had a lot of injuries the yeah. last three years, three, four and years. And then he had Dobbs as his quarterback, so it's tough to take anything away. I had him in fantasy and dropped him. Uh, Shanahan, not worried about the trauma over Brock returning to Philadelphia. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not, no, I wouldn't think so at all. It's, I think all that stuff for guys when they have big injuries, I think once you, I think the first game, the first hit, things like that, um, they're a little bit vulnerable too with post-traumatic stress. But I think once you, they, they get through that stuff, I think it's over for the most part. <laughs> He's not worried about the PTSD. Uh, does he take the game in January, January 29th, NFC title game into account? We're preparing for the Eagles. You throw it out and start from scratch. I mean, you would if, if it's early in the year, but when you have this much tape, you don't like to watch what they were into last year or we're just both different teams, um, different styles. You evolve all the time and you evolve each week. And I think a lot of that stuff can, in my history, it hurts you more than it helps. Are, are they a better team this time around? Niners? Yeah. Yeah. Brock Purdy's better. I think so, too. Is that. I think they're healthier. Um, they're healthier. No I think their defensive that. line's better. We'll see on Sunday. Because I thought that D-line was good. Well, Amini Hu was good, man. No, he was. Amini Hu was good last year. But it, they're, they're, so when Bosa had, what, 18 and a half sacks last mm-hmm. year, next closest was five. Yeah, no doubt. This year they feel a little more balanced. More well-rounded. Yeah, I don't know if Bosa's as good as he was last year heading into the playoffs, but in the playoffs, he did kind of vanish. Mm-hmm. He did. And I need Bosa. There's a guy that better show up. I know you earlier in the week talking about Debo. And um, Bosa has got to step up. I agree with that. Bosa has got to dominate. 
what Lane Johnson did to him last year, last season, I should say, should not happen again. And I, I think Hargrave and I think you know Chase need to step up as well. I mean, this I, is a big game for Hargrave. I'm, I'm, I'm we got at, him to get over that team. Right, but I, I'm looking at the star of all stars, the DPOI, Nick Bosa. What you got for me against okay. this physical offensive line? I need Nick Bosa to show up on Sunday. Um, Shanahan on being favorites. Somebody asked about being favorites in this game. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I don't really know how that stuff works, so I don't really know why. It is random. Do you believe a head coach when they say they don't know how that stuff works, the gambling stuff? I don't know. I I, I kind of don't understand how it works, well, quite frankly. I guess that would make a point there. Right? I mean, I, 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 I kind of do, but I kind of don't. <laughs> like, I, honestly, I don't understand how the Niners are favored in this game. Do you? You understand the lines, though. Yeah, I, I understand. Shanahan, like, like, they're I favored by two I don't understand how that half. stuff works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever the number is right now. I'm a little surprised they're favored. I am. Do I think that he is oblivious to who's favorite and who's underdog? Absolutely not. Yeah. That's... I think that Kyle Shanahan knows everything. I think he's got a burner. I think he's watched a video of ours, for example, at some time. I'm sure he's got an Instagram somewhere. I think he sees everything. A man who has Lil Wayne as one of his favorite artists of all time isn't on social media at all. Find that hard to believe. Yeah, I, I don't know about that one. Um, Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I, I don't, don't know think, if he's watching. I don't know if he's ever watched our videos. You think he's watched our videos? I, I think, I, 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 I think Kyle Shanahan has a burner. Yes. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Joe Lacob has a burner. I've had enough. <laughs> Let's go around the room. Spadoni, uh, do you think Kyle Shanahan has a burner? I think all head coaches have burners. Absolutely. Accounts. Sam Lubman, do you think Kyle Shanahan has a burner? Yeah, I think it's probably a safe assumption to, to think that. Why? Why would he have a burner? He Why seems, does he need a burner? He seems too aware to not have one. You know, you know, a guy like Shanahan doesn't need one. You know why? And I know this from just dealing with NBA players. Because their minions have them? I'm not going to call them minions. Oh, okay. I didn't mean I'm like that. I'm not going to call them minions. They're buddies. But I was just going we'll to like despicable me. I was going yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 will, they will send them stuff. Hey, did you check this out? Look at this. And they'll show them on their phones. And Shanahan, huh, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. He doesn't need a burner. Because people will just send him information, intel, articles. You know, did you, by the way, do we have the Jason Kidd sound? He went to Tim McMahon at ESPN. And was like, why don't you write some positive bleep? Trust me, people will read your positive stuff. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I've I never mean, heard Jason Kidd curse. There, there is a lane for being a straight-up homer. I'm looking at myself in that category. 